Thursday, December 14th. I rode out to check my traps and soon came upon Lobo's trail. In the dust, I could read the whole story of his doings the previous night. He'd run along through the scrub for a few hundred yards, then turned towards my traps. But upon reaching the first one, he'd scratched up stones and earth till he'd sprung the trap and made it safe. Continuing along the trail, Seaton discovered that Lobo had disarmed over a dozen of his traps in the same way. How could he have seen through Seaton's clever plan so easily? Wolves are very, very observant of their environment. They pay attention to a degree that people have a hard time fathoming. They're just extremely attentive to every little thing in their environment. They knew Seaton was after him and his other cowboys. And so they became very attuned to his tricks. And once they learn about traps, about steel, uh, they become hyper-observant. That's all they were doing. The wily wolf had outwitted Seaton once again. It was going to be a long winter. Week after week, I vary my methods and redouble my precautions, yet there is only defeat after defeat. The cowboys complain bitterly of their losses, and each night, old Lobo mocks me with his triumphant howl. December 24th, went in the afternoon to trail wolves. Saw only coyotes and jackrabbits. Wolves have killed three cattle and a colt. And Christmas Day, 1893, Found many wolf tracks today, but caught nothing. January 5th, bitterly cold. Bates on January 13th, got nothing and saw it. Today I have ridden without rest or stop, between 35 and 40 miles. I am facing total humiliation. <laughs>